Hi, this is Fabian from Sunbelt. Thanks for coming by again. It's going to be our second video. Uh, today we're uh, testing a 2008 Altima. It's got the uh, JFO 11E transmission in it. Uh, we're going to go ahead for a road test, see if we can figure out what's wrong. Um, this, did have some co this did have some codes in it when we started. It was a pressure solenoid A. I believe we're having a computer problem. Uh, but we tested this vehicle earlier this week. Um, we're going to retest it right now. What we found earlier was we had a bad valve body. We had a bad secondary. So let's just uh, accelerate, you know, go for a test ride and see. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put it in gear. And if you see my pressure gauge right there, okay, you want to have at least 200 or better, which we do. Okay. And I'm going to do a little bit of a brake torque. I got, my, got it in gear. I'm going to bring it up. We should have at least 800 or better at 1500 RPM and we do. So this transmission's got good pressure. We also brought the scanner along with it too. And if you look at the scanner, it's also giving you the pressures. If you look on the primary pressure, it's at 256. We bring it back up. We're getting 800 pounds of pressure too, just like our gauge. Okay, so we're, we're doing pretty good there. So it's, it's, it's within sync. Now, when we go on a test ride, what I like to do is I want to get the car up to 60 miles an hour. And it's just a quick little test to give us an idea if our variators are slipping. Okay. Got our Garrett with us today, holding the scanner. So I just want you to look at the gauge as we're driving. So now we're starting to accelerate. Okay, and we're about 800 pounds of line pressure, which is real good. So this transmission is putting out good pressure. Um, seems to be pretty good. Let's take a look here. What we're looking at here, come on. What we're going to be looking at is we're going to be looking at the stepper motor on acceleration. That's going to tell you one of the functions of the stepper motor. We're going to get past this intersection up here. I'm going to come to a stop. Okay. Now I want you to look at the stepper motor, which is right there. It's at negative four. Well, as we accelerate, the stepper motor is going to go up, and it's going to go all the way up to about 190. And what you want to see is you want to see that it goes up on a nice sweep. In other words, it's not jumping around. And that's what you want to see. The stepper motor is already at 111. 119 and we're accelerating so the stepper motor is going to go up you want to see a nice increments of going up so I'm going to try to get it at 60 miles an hour so it's going up where are we at 149 150 stepper motors climbing that stepper motor is working good let's get it up to about 60 here I want you to look at the speedometer as you can see on the speedometer I'm just about 60 miles an hour let me get it to uh, cruising range where we're at now. And you want to do about two grand or less, okay? At this point, since we're just holding, the secondary cell uh, variator came out and clamped down, and it's locking in a place, okay? So you can see that it's working good. We're gonna go ahead and accelerate again, get it up to 60 miles an hour. Let's see where we're at, we're doing about 2,500. Come back down, two grand, that's good pressure. Right now, the secondary is clamping down to hold it steady. We got great pressure up at the gauge on top, so definitely got good pressure in this transmission. What the repair that we did is we took the valve body out of it and we added a secondary valve to it. What was happening was it wasn't clamping down properly, it wasn't holding it. So let's just start back off again. Let's look at the stepper motor one more time. Okay, where are we at, four? Yep. Okay, so we're going to accelerate again. It should be a nice, even acceleration. Good increments going up on the stepper motor. And at the same time, you can see our uh, pressure. You can see our secondary and primary uh, pressure uh, switches are working. Okay. And we've got good pressure. This one's reading in PSI. Earlier versions were uh, reading in megapascals. So, but this one's PSI. Okay. So we're holding it steady. So now we're like 45, we're holding her steady. The uh, stepper motor moved into a hold position 
and it's locking down on the secondary right now to hold it in place for us. Let's slow down a little bit. Let's take a look at the stepper motor again. It's cruising down. Let's see, come to a complete stop. Stepper motor's going down. It didn't jump around, looks good. We're right back. So the stepper motor is working properly, okay? Let's keep an eye on this pressure gauge going up. So you got good pressure and then you got secondary. Secondary come up when it locks in place. So let's accelerate again. Let's take a look at that stepper motor one more time. Getting it up to speed. Take a quick look at our gauges and our RPM. Holding really good pressure. I'm gonna try to get it up to speed again. Let's look at our pressure really quick on the primary. Primary is what brings up the speed from low to high. Then when we get to a certain spot, it goes in a hold, secondary comes on, and it's holding and I'm slowing down now, so our stepper motor's dropping down, we've got some traffic. So by replacing the valve body and putting in a secondary valve for the, for the variator, we were able to fix the problem this car had which was it wasn't clamping down, it was doing some juddering as well when you went when you were accelerating. It's a good repair. And so on this one, we, we didn't have to rebuild the transmission, we just went ahead and uh, diagnosed it correctly, and we put a valve body in with a secondary valve and fixed our problem. This car is ready to go, a customer can pick it up. Thanks for stopping by, appreciate it.